Thank you. Hello, America. And welcome to the biggest celebration ever of our American values. I want to thank all of you for coming this afternoon. It's important that you're here because your very presence is the very essence of American participation in our democracy. America needs you now more than ever. This election, it's a fight for our country, it's a fight for our values, it's a fight for our freedom that we believe in. All of our Second Amendment liberty, all of the rights we've worked so hard to defend, all of what we know is good and right about America, all of it could be lost if Barack Obama gets reelected. You know what I'm talking about. All across the country, people are worried. Parents fear that their kids won't be able to live the American dream. We witness violence and drug gangs in our communities. We see the collapse of our southern border and fear for our safety. We are angered as our American values and culture are sacrificed upon the altar of international acceptance. We know if President Obama gets a second term, America as we know it will be on its way to being lost forever. This is an all-in election for all of our freedoms, all of our values, and all means every single one of us, all in to defend freedom, to take back our country. And mark my words, when the sun goes down on Election Day, Barack Obama will have us to thank for his defeat. Because we're the majority, and when freedom is at risk, we always stand up. Now, the President, he doesn't want to hear that. He wants us to sit this election out. And most of the national media either want to ignore us or they want to denigrate us. NRA members have been standing up for freedom for decades. And for decades, the media and the political elites have lied about us, demonized us, and attempted to marginalize our Second Amendment. There's not a person in the room here today that doesn't know what I'm talking about. They've called us everything from extremists to wingnuts to wackos and just about every other rotten, lousy, nasty, evil name in the book that the media can think up. But we've all, each one of us, we've all stood up to that nonsense. NRA members and Americans throughout the country that stand with us have stared those anti-gun elitists straight in the eye and we've stared them down year after year. We will never back away from our resolve to defend the rights of all law-abiding gun owners. And we will never fear an absolute declaration that the Second Amendment must be preserved as an unfettered natural right fully accessible to every single lawful American citizen. And if the media doesn't like it, I know where they can go. They can go straight to Concord Bridge and they can take a flying leap. But they'll keep demonizing us. They'll keep calling us names. They'll keep lying about who we are. So with your help today, let's give them a clear view of who we really are. When I describe you, will you please stand and remain standing? Do we have any police officers here today? If you're currently serving in law enforcement or a retired police officer, will you please stand up? 
You protect us, our streets, and our communities, and thank you for that. Please remain standing. How many nurses or doctors are in the audience? Please stand if you're a nurse or a doctor or a hospital administrator or a pharmacist. Anyone who works in health care in any way, will you please stand up right now? Thank you for caring for all of us, and please remain standing. Do we have any teachers in the audience? Please remain and remain standing. Anyone who works in education, please stand and join those already standing right now. Thanks for all you do for us and for our children. If you're a student, stand and join them right now. Education is important, and we're proud of each and every one of you. How about if you work in manufacturing, construction? Stand up and join those already recognized right now. We If you work at a trade, maybe a plumber, electrician, roofer, contractor, truck driver, or any other trade, please stand up right now. You keep America running and working, and we all thank you for that. How about stay-at-home moms? Please stand up right now. You do so much for our homes and families. Please stand and remain standing. How about if you own your own business? Join those standing right now. Anyone work in retail or the local grocery? Stand up right now also. How about any firefighters out there? Stand up and let us thank you for running into the fire on our behalf. And I know we have many men and women who serve in our armed forces. If you're in the military or if you're a veteran, will you stand right now and please join all those still standing? You have made the great sacrifice that comes with defending freedom abroad here at home, and we thank you as Americans. Do you attend your local church? or your local charity? Do you donate to charity? Do you volunteer for Little League, soccer, love your community, pay your taxes, respect your local authorities? Do you obey the law? Stand up right now as American citizens and be recognized. Are you proud of your country and what it stands for? Are you proud of your freedom? Stand up and be counted right now. I want all the reporters in the media to look around at the American people standing in this room right now. See us for who we really are and see if you can tell it straight. Let me make it crystal clear. We are law-abiding Americans who believe that liberty is a blessing not bestowed by government, but by our Creator that must be <laughs> that must be preserved for future generations of Americans. The media and the political class, they can lie about us and demonize us all they want, but that won't stop us because we are standing up today in this room for who we really are. We are Americans, we are patriots, we love our country, and in this election to defend freedom, we are by God all in. Thank you, God bless you, and keep fighting for freedom every day every single one of you as Americans. Thank you very much, and let's have a great convention.